Hey guys, this is Mark from uh, Sideshow HD Films, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to do some uh, BB testing today with the uh, DPMS Panther Arms Carbine, which is basically just an AR-15 clone for you gun nuts out there. It's an M4, it uh, has three, well, two fire selections and a safe mode. So, here you have safe, semi, and auto, three-way switch right there. It's pretty good for firefights. I really like it. Uh, I like the placement. <clears throat> it has this uh, lever back here, which in the real life AR-15 is supposed to be a cock, but it exposes the hop up so you can adjust it there. I'm not really sure what the hop up is adjusted to right now, but whatever, we'll find out or not, I guess. Uh, mag release, I'm not going to touch it now because there's BBs in the mag and they'll fall out. IRS rails, so you can take off the sights, for example, I'm going to show you. And there you go, you can take it off. And what else is there to say about this gun? This gun is alright for beginners. Um, it's not really what you're looking for if you're doing pro stuff. Like I know Scout the Doggy on YouTube does a lot of... Uh, filming and these guys are really pro airsofters. I mean they're using metal BBs, they're using you know these 600 FPS guns and they're firing full auto at each other and they have like all this armor so you know this is not one of those guns you want to bring to a firefight like that. <laughs> That's like a pistol. That's basically bringing a knife to a gunfight. An actual gunfight, not an airsoft gunfight. Um, it has some really nice um, stuff that's not actually functional like this, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, but it's just a nice look for the gun. You know, trying to make an efficient M4 clone. Um, the sights are standard M4 sights, so here you have the circle and the front sight, sort of three-prong. You can adjust uh, to what side the front sights, the rear sight, sorry. Um, points to so for example you can move it closer to the left or to the right also you can switch this to the long range sight it's a very small pinhole sort of and then there's the close uh, combat sight this gun was painted over didn't come with the camo uh, George did it I uh, really good at doing it uh, the mag holds around 300 rounds as you can see it's a wind up so just wind it up like so and little bipod thing here George put on and we left the orange tip because you know we didn't want anybody like calling on us or whatever so let's do a shooting test now now before you shoot a gun or when you're looking for a gun it's very important to know uh, what FPS it is feet per second how turn it on far it shoots top button yeah all right don't now, put it all the way in there hold on there, like that. 290 FPS. As you can see. It's rather good. Let's do another one. 285, so as you can see, pretty fast for a budget gun. Now let's do a shooting test. We're going to hit those two targets there. I'll try to hit the glass. I'll hit that little can over there and I'll attempt to hit that green bottle and that can over there. So, and then we're going to do a human test with George and uh, pay back for the sniper human test, I guess. Um, let's do it. Okay. Badass. Oh, yeah. This gun isn't the most accurate, so. Either 
so let's go to that front, uh, closer one right there. Hold on, I think it's empty. Ladies and gentlemen, the most inaccurate weapon you'll ever find. Let's <laughs> <laughs> believe. Okay. There you go. Let's try that front one, or that one a little farther down once more. Yeah. Obviously I'm failing that, so I'm not going to try again. Green bottle? Green bottle. Got it. The can far away. Alright, and now time for me to go out there, right? Alright, now time for George to take a risk. Alright. Wait, George, do you want to wear the jacket? Okay, fine. Okay. Ready? Okay. And we're gonna, I'm trying not to hit him anywhere where it'll hurt. Just hit him in the, I'll hit him in the leg. Hit. All right, it was a hit. Do another one. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. One more. One more. Okay. You sure? Legs? Alright. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So as you can see that was a hit. It's not very uh, it's not a very good weapon on cans and bottles, but on humans it's fine. Ah, my leg. <laughs> Alright. Alright, now for the conclusion. Okay. So as you can see, this gun is... Ah, uh, uh, my leg! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This gun isn't the best gun on earth. Um, it could... well, it's good for backyard skirmishes. I would recommend it for people starting out. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody else. Um, it's good for backyard skirmishes if that's your thing. Uh, that is our thing at the moment. That's the only thing we can do, so... Since Canada is so awesome. That is definitely our bag, to put it a certain way. Um, of course there are attachments that come with the gun, so the $100 is not completely wasted. There's a front sight where you can store extra BBs. Front grip, you mean? Uh, there's a front grip, sorry, where you can store extra BBs in here, and you just unscrew this, and that'll give you extra BBs, which I think is pretty cool. And we had a flashlight, it, uh, it, came, it comes with the pistol. But you can take that off the pistol and put it on your gun. And there's also a red dot sight, but uh, we don't have that out here at the moment. And it's pretty shit anyways. It's pretty bad, so I'm not going to bother. I'm pretty sure you guys know what a red dot sight is. Um, other than that, that's it. That's the gun. So, uh, it's uh, Mark from Sideshow HD Films, signing out.